What is good? Good, bruh. Welcome back to another Vix Franks video. Oh, let me roll these windows up. Welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, you already know what's about to happen. Content. I knew this was going shamelessly plug. Go on Instagram, content.tm because, yeah. The first drop, pretty cool, because it was the first time I've ever released clothing and people actually bought it and supported. I'm not surprised at the support. I'm just surprised at the fact that, I don't know. The second drop released, I think it was from today. I think it's like two and a half or three weeks ago. Y'all bought all the first shirts that came out with it. I'm getting more shirts, all sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, all the way up to like 5X, bro. So with that said, go in there, check it out. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself some content. I got the AC on, bro. Your boy is still sweating. Why? The sun is just shining through the windshield. Makes me want to actually tip my windshield like 35%, you know? Risk it all. I'm down at 70,000 miles and you know what I'm saying? There's a couple things I just didn't do at 60K. Bruh. It is what it is. I didn't do it. I need to change out the rear differential fluid in there. Subaru suggested be done. I think at 60K, you can do it earlier if you want. You know, if you just want to, I don't know, be a little more precautious. Now I'm on my way to the Subaru dealership because I just, with fluids and all like that, I try to stick to the Subaru OEM. I like when I see other cars with the Rally Armor mud flaps. Like, I know they're made for other cars and you only ever see them really on the Subies, but okay, Mazda. I'm gonna go to the Subaru dealership and get the OEM rear differential fluid. Uh, I think it's like $20. Forgot what I was gonna say, damn. are back boom boom subaru said i only need to and shout out to mark for helping me out and getting me squared away at subaru and for offering to give me a photo shoot so shout out to my man mark i'm already sweating i'm about to go to home depot real quick and get the pump because when you're changing out the rear diff fluid because of the way it's set up you cannot put liquid into the top of it like you can't pour it into it you have to pump liquid against gravity into the rear diff Now, I'm going home to replace the rear diff fluid. Let's start the video. Let me jump in real quick. Let me explain why I'm doing it this way. So I went on YouTube, like you're doing now. They were all saying that when you drain the rear differential fluid, the car has to be level. So I was like, damn, the car slammed. I could have made ramps and drove up onto ramps, but then I had to go get the material too. So I just didn't do that. But this, this is a way to do it if you don't have access to a lift. So what I decided to do was jack the car up. It's only jacked up on this one side. Now let me show you why you have to jack the car up, period. From what I understand, this is your differential. The top bolt is the fill bolt, and this bottom bolt is the drain bolt. So you're gonna take out this fill bolt, take that out, let the air start going in there. I'm guessing the oil level is, you know, right under this. Let the oil drip out a little bit, put a pan under here. But then this bottom bolt, you're gonna have to take out, and then um, it'll begin to drain. But the issue is, these bolts are torqued pretty tight, and you need some leverage. So it's not a lot of space under here. I just took the breaker bar under there, and it actually, pretty easy to actually unbolt it like it didn't even take that much pressure so the plan is lift it up only on one side undo the fill bolt undo the drain bolt and let it drain and then as it's draining i'm going to lower the car to a level until the car is at an even level again when the car is even the rest of the fluid should come out because it'll be as if the car is lifted tell me if i'm off let it drain out when it's even 
put that drain bolt back on and then begin to fill it while it's still level with the wheel still off as long as the car is level i'm going to fill it once it's done once i'm done filling it i'm going to go ahead and put that bolt back on and then jack the car back up put the wheel back on and then do all that makes sense to me if i'm doing something terribly wrong put it in the comments but i'm pretty sure this could work so let's just get to it we're gonna find out slowly coming off and like I said So as far as I understand, you should expect to see some kind of metal shavings in there. I don't think this is bad because this looks like what I saw in the video that helped me, just like I'm trying to help you. Probably take a rag, clean that off. There may still be some fluid still in there and the car is jacked up still. So now I'm about to lower the car a little bit and just see as I lower it if more fluid begins to come out. That's about even to me. And this was like, I think it was like $12. Nice little adapters if you want to actually pump up like bike tires or something like that. The idea is one tube goes here. This is actually turned out to be a successful install. Like there's not that many hiccups. So I really hope the audio has been A1. If it hasn't been, oh, bro, I'm gonna be upset. I cannot lie. Make sure I understand this. This top hose, boom, from the top will go into the oil. And then the bottom hose coming from the bottom will go into the, dr the fill plug in the diff. And then you just get to pumping. So we're gonna go ahead and put this drain plug back in. I'm not gonna torque it all the way down or tighten it up. I'm just gonna put it in enough so that liquid will not come out. Top tube is inside of the oil. This is brand new, fresh oil. It's kind of tight under here because I lowered it to make it even. There is oil coming out of there when I was pumping it. So now that we know oil is definitely coming out, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in and I'm gonna start pumping. It takes about 0.85 quarts, so we're gonna keep going until it's about to overfill. It's starting to leak. See that? It is definitely full. So the fact that it's leaking, again, that means it's basically full, you know what I'm saying? Because when we took it out, there was a slight leakage. So, we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and put that fill cap on now. If I can find that son of a I don't know where the cap went. Oh. Get your content, by the way. So, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this uh, fill cap in there now. Turns out, this works. This way it works. I'm gonna start the car. We're gonna see if it actually starts fine and it's good. The part you're probably gonna hear me about is the fact that I don't have a torque wrench. But my dad does have a torque wrench, so I'm gonna talk to him tomorrow. I'll go back under here and torque it, but for the time being, just for a night, just to start it up and see and get the fluid going through the diff, it should be good. Change the rear diff. Something you should do at 60K. I did it at 71K. So it is what it is. There wasn't that much metal shavings inside. And I think we're Gucci. So you do not need a lift. You just need a jack and two jack stands. And my car is slammed ridiculously to the point where it's scraping. And it's hard to even get under there to do an oil change. So if I can do it, bro, more times than not, you can do it too. Appreciate y'all watching. If you want to see more videos like this, if you want to get more actual like content, Go ahead and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Check out the Instagram, more clips on there, more like behind the scenes on there as well. All right, y'all. Whoo, it's hot. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace. What we do here is go back, 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 back.